Hi and welcome to the third video in the series Wave Tree. And what we're going to do is we're going to enter credit sales transactions into Wave accounting software. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a nominal ledger account. We're going to set up some sales tax rates. We're going to design our sales invoice in Wave. We're going to set up some customers and then we're going to record some invoices and some credit notes. Now, if you've been following along, you already know to hop over to my website and you'll find a link below the video here where you can get access to download the PDF to go along with this video so you can practice along and learn how to use WAVE yourself. So like I said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the following new nominal ledger accounts. So if you remember from the last video, setting up nominal ledger accounts is found under accounting and we're going to select add new. And what we want to do is we want to set up a new income account and it's for conference room hire. So we go to income, we'll open income. We're going to go to sales and services and we're going to select a banquet and an events. But what we're going to do when we select banquet and events is we're going to rename this to income conference room hire and hit save so now we have set up a new nominal account and you'll see it there under our income in our trial balance we have income conference room hire so the next step is to set up some sales tax rates and if we go to our dashboard and if we go to settings and sales tax and what we're going to select is add a new sales tax. So we had added sales taxes in the previous lesson for purchases, but this time we want to add in some sales tax rates for sales. So it will be 0% sales. And press save. And then we do the same for the 20% sales. And now what we have is our two new sales tax rates set up. So we can bill out and then after we bill out, when we're looking at our sales tax reports, we can actually identify sales taxes at different rates. So what we're going to look at now, I'm going to quickly show you invoice customization. And invoice customization is for setting up your invoice so it looks the way you want it to look when you send it out. So there's a number of templates available here for you to pick from. So that's the first template available. The second one is a classic template and the third one is a mo more modern template. Now, in addition to this, you can also choose and upload a logo. And then down in your invoice settings, you have default payment terms. Now, this is default, okay? So you can change it on the individual invoice, but let's just say all our defaults are due within 30 days. Now, you could have a default subheading, your default footer, and if you have a standard memo, such as your bank details or something, you may want to put them in there. There's also an area here for your estimate settings. So if you're preparing estimates, you can fill it in here. And further down, you have your invoice column settings. So edit the titles on the columns. So we're going to be selling services. We're going to be selling other, nights, rate. And then we can choose to hide columns and so forth and select save. The next step then is to add our invoices. Now I do have step four set up customers, but in the last lesson, I showed you how to set up your vendors, your suppliers in the settings option, just to look at that again. So in settings, you can set up your vendors and you can also set up your customers. But this time I want to show you how to set up your customers from directly within your invoicing. And you can also do the same for vendors. So let's go to our invoices. And you can see there I had added the logo and how our invoice actually looks. And once you're happy and you've picked your colors, it's great, let's go. Now I've just got this notice about invoices. What you can actually do is you can set Wave up to accept payments online via PayPal and credit card. 
and you can send your invoice online and you can see exactly when the customer views it and, and pays it. Uh, that's just the option that we're being told about here. So here we are now in our invoice screen. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. We have our business information over here and here's the invoice details itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a customer. And you'll see we've taken all of them details directly from our customer setup and say save. So now we have our bill to customer in here and we've given it an automatic invoice number. Now we have a PO and we have our PO details there. It's 0112345. The invoice date is going to be the 29th of January. So the payment date is going to be 30 days later, but they will get a settlement discount of 10% if paid 10 days from the date of the invoice. Now let's go down here and let's enter the service that we have. So our description is going to be bed and breakfast. Now our nights, okay, we've got six people for five nights. So six fives is 30, so we've got 30 nights at 170. And our sales tax is zero. So that's fine. And that gives us a subtotal of 5,100 on the invoice. Then we can save or we can preview. So let's save the invoice. And I'll show you what happens here in Wave when you save the invoice. Now you have the chance to send the invoice. Or you can go back in and you can edit the invoice. And you can see that you can set a reminder by adding an email address so you can actually remind the customer to pay the invoice. Now, don't forget Wave is a very much an automated system so if you have this set up you can accept payments online and hopefully I will get to that in a much later video in this series. You can also record your payment directly if the customer has already actually paid this invoice. You can see a copy of the invoice down there. Now up here, just to show you, that was invoice number one. Credit card payments is off. We have more actions here, so you can duplicate, make it reoccurring, export it as PDF. If you want to send it as an email in PDF, you can print it, you can customize the view and so forth, or you can also delete the invoice. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to create another invoice. And the second invoice, we need to add a customer here as well. So the customer, we need to create a new customer. And the customer here is events. And the account number is, and we can select save. Now this had three days conference room hire at a thousand per day. So they have a PO number, which is CON785. The invoice date is going to be the 23rd of January. And they have a trade discount of 20% and no settlement discount. So we need to put in conference room and we will create conference room as new. So it's conference room hire. It is for three days and it is for a thousand per day. Now we also need to put in trade discount. But before that we put in our sales tax and our sales tax is 20% sales. Now we will add another line and this time we're going to put in discount, trade discount. And we're going to add this as a new, so trade discount. And it's not nights nice this time. It is kind of like a rate. What we're gonna do is put in minus because we're reducing the value because this is actually discount and 20% of 100 is 20 so we'll see we have a discount of 60 in there and our sales tax is also going to be our 20% sales so we'll see there now that our sales invoice comes to 240 with our 
sales tax coming to 288. Now we can save this invoice and we're going to just, it's just done as a draft. So you can take further actions once you've approved it, but let's just approve the invoice. And once we've approved this invoice, we can then go on to send the invoice and collect payment as we discussed earlier on. Now, the last invoice that we have to set up is actually not an invoice, it's a credit note. So let's add another invoice and I'll show you how to actually add a credit note. So let's add our customer and we're going to select events conference. And the purchase order number is the same as the invoice because it actually relates to the invoice. And the invoice date is going to be the 23rd of January conference room hire and it is a credit for one day now it's a credit so we need to put in minus to bring up a minus amount now we need to add an item because don't forget we have trade discount on this so let's put in our trade discount and when you're reducing a credit it's the opposite you're not going to put in minus you're going to put in a positive sign and it's one at 20 and our sales taxes come in there and we can see that the credit note given has been for 96 euro and we can then save this we can approve the draft and we're not going to create any more invoices now let's just go back to our invoice screen so now back in our invoice screen i'm just going to x this just to get this off the screen for you we have a dashboard now and we can see our invoices we can see the amount of payments received which is nothing we can see that we have one saved invoice and we have two overdue invoices. Now, saved means that we haven't actually posted it out. Remember, we had the option to send the invoice. So because we didn't send it, it's only just saved. We also have the option to set up the credit cards so we can receive payment and create another option. But this dashboard is actually quite handy. Now, before we look at anything else, what I want to do is I want to go to reports. Now, in our reports, you can see a report of income by customer and an age receivables. So your income by customer will give you a breakdown of each customer for the particular dates that you specify. So you can see by each customer what you have actually made and you can export that to Excel or CSV or PDF. And you can also look at your age receivables. Now, your age receivables is a very, very powerful and useful management tool because it shows how outstanding these debts are. Now, this report date is at the 4th of April. So as at the 4th of April, these invoices in here from January are between 31 to 60 days overdue for payment so you should know that these you know you really need to be collecting payment for these if it's just coming due you know it's fine what's in the one to 30 day column is only one to 30 days old and you should be collecting the current payments so that's some of the reports available for when you do look at posting your sales invoices or your sales credit notes let's also look at our dashboard and we can see now that on our dashboard that we have the option to send reminders for our overdue invoices. We can see that our income and our expenses has actually updated. We can see our payables and our owings is quite clearly laid out for us there. We, and we have a quick net income statement. So income, expenses, net income, and then our business expenses broken down. So that's how our dashboard has now actually updated. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll give it the thumbs up and don't forget to hop over to the website where you can download the PDF resource for this particular particular lesson and this whole course if you want to download them. So I hope to see you in the next lesson. Goodbye now.